We want to be clear about what we mean by cultural capital. For schools, we've said that cultural capital is the essential knowledge that children need to be educated citizens. For early years, cultural capital is about giving children the knowledge and skills for what comes next in their lives. We know children arrive at their childcare provider, their nursery, their preschool, with different and sometimes more limited experiences than others. We believe that cultural capital is about giving children the best possible start to their early education and their future success. So, giving children the knowledge and skills for what comes next in their lives. From September, as part of making a judgement about the quality of education, inspectors will consider how well leaders use the EYFS curriculum to enhance the experience and opportunities available for children, particularly the most disadvantaged. For example, research tells us that there is that close link between the number of words a child knows and their future success. Is it fair then that some children do not hear the same number of words as others. We believe there's an important discussion to be had about what early years settings do to help children experience that awe and wonder of the world in which they live through the seven areas of learning. We'll be asking early years providers to tell us how they decide what the children in their setting need to learn. Whether that's making sure children hear more words or it may be having opportunities to be more active and explore outdoors and the world around them. We all know just how important the early years are. Building strong foundations that will make a real difference to a child's future. Essentially, what a setting does through the early years foundation stage curriculum and the interactions with adults can make all the difference. Cultural capital is about preparing children with the knowledge and skills for what comes next.